Hey, Fire Signs, it's Nicole. So we'll be working on your daily read for May 28th, 2019. What messages do we have? This is for May 28th, 2019. What messages do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo? Summer Wise and Aziz, messages for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, May 28th, 2019. What messages, what guidance do we have? The Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have? The Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for May 28th, 2019. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three of Pentacles here. So this is about some sort of cooperation. Someone could be cooperating, could be friends with benefits. It's got a lot of... Uh, A lot of passion here a little bit too much could be causing some conflict here or someone it, this is about someone working cooperating with someone maybe you're burdened by something here needing to release some burdens that may be the cooperation because nine of cups in your surrounding energy you may need to allow your concerns to fade away with something so we got the ace of wands here why is this ace of wands here there could be an olive branch extended um that could cause Something is, there's a tower moment here. Um, underneath all of this is a tower moment that is brewing because someone is being selfish. Um, it's causing conflicts or you feel like someone else is selfish and it, it causes conflicts. Now for some of you guys, you may need to review someone's motives um, and lay the burdens down of some situation. Ace of Wands here. Wheel of Fortune. So there's an opportunity to move forward. Emperor here, Aries energy here, Gemini energy here, but Moon card is underlying energy. Either there has been procrastination before, now someone's ready to take action, extending an olive branch, wanting to take action, but this can come across as sex. Um, Knight of Wands here, why is this Knight of Wands here? Or maybe there was sex in the past, someone wants a new start. Page of Wands, happiness, Page of Wands, Nine of Cups, Four of Cups. So Someone may be holding in four swords. You have two fours here. Someone could be holding in what they feel. And that is someone feels a lot of love in a situation. And there is potential for a situation to move forward. The problem here is someone is holding that back, trying to be in alignment with not having that. So it's coming across as sex. This is a friend for benefits. Someone wants to lay the burdens down of a friends with benefit situation. Feeling conflicted by that. Not trusting. Um, someone's not trusting. So nine of cups in the... Someone's... I really believe there's some questionable motives here. There, there could be questionable motives. We're going to put that... So nine of cups here in surrounding energy. Someone is smitten, feeling very fulfilled. Um, but really, yeah, someone needs to end a difficult situation here that is in balance, that may be taking too long. Um, or someone's gaining wish fulfillment and it's the end of a difficult situation. There may be a lot of things that are about to be happening. Um, it could be a reconciliation that has taken a long time. There are some conflicts here. Either you feel like someone's motives are questionable, which is possible, because I don't actually see deception here, but I do see questioning of motives. So you could feel like it's a burden to get back into a friends with benefits, third party type of situation because you want love, you want true unconditional love. And you could be getting that, but if you feel like the friends with benefits is a situation, it's a cooperation. So someone's wanting you to cooperate with them, but you're conflicted about you're conflicted about the way they're approaching you they may be approaching you in a sexual way so we got ten of wands here 
Why is the Ten of Wands here? Feeling burdened by that, needing to let the burdens go. Let my people go. Two of Cups here, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're burdened by that because the relationship is taking too long. So some of you guys are releasing a friends with benefit situation that's taking too long to materialize. Um, Five of Swords, feeling conflicted by that. Or could be, if you're, now you could be cooperating with this person and going toward Tower, really moving toward a relationship, but there needs to be you gotta release the call. You gotta release the friends with benefits. Five of Swords here. Or you just are. Empress here, Ten of Cups here. Yeah, you're conflicted because you want a you want love and commitment. So someone's releasing a situation, feeling like um they're conflicted about what they want. They feel like someone feels like a cycle here is complete. Maybe realizing that something isn't granting them what they desire. So someone could be releasing the burdens, going through an emotional growth and walking away from a friends with benefits. This is a friends with benefits type of situation. Someone is allowing to cease and desist. Now for others of you, someone could be so into themselves. This could be a woman that is not seeing a friends with benefits, needing to see that. But I don't, I think it's someone in your, in your external. So this may be for a man that is burdened by a situation, full and conflicted, maybe in a third party or in some type of cooperation, um, sexual cooperation. Someone could be making a decision to take action toward a lover. Um, there's going to be conflict. Someone has to release burdens of a relationship to move forward. So this could be a third party. Someone could be releasing a third party um, or releasing a relationship going toward a partner. There's going to be conflicts here. Someone's in conflict because they're in love with someone else, I believe. So they're wanting to move toward that. One of those scenarios fit. This is very complicated. I got a headache here. All right, so um, let's see what messages we have. There's questionable motives here. I'm gonna just be 100%. What messages do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo? What messages do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo? Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, Simon, Rising, Venus. Peace, compassion, and golden opportunity. Okay. So, we have released judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is, whenever, that is within everyone. Um, understand that there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully and important doors are opening for you right now. So, walk through them. I think you guys need to release some burdens. Um, have compassion for yourself. Release any judgments. Um, for those of you, you could be judging someone incorrectly. You may... Um, not be seeing them in the right light because i act i'm be real with you i don't see any deception um i just see questionable motives so someone could be coming towards you and they could have just gotten out of a relationship released something that was not in alignment with what they desired and you could be kind of iffy about their delivery toward you so just speak your truth but be open here release judgments about yourself and release judgments about other people i think that is the key here but there are some questionable motives <laughs> this is all i have peace